Are you okay? How are things going? Oh. You are oh. thinking of what happened to Dad. Oh. What did you do to him? Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe next time. This is next time. Well, I'll try harder. I I did everything you told me to. I I, I even wrote in the. Look, Ezra, you can keep on going about this, but uh, I'm not publishing your book, all right? Now, if you uh. Can excuse yourself, I have work to do. for some company? Rough day, huh? I get it. I had a really rough day at work today. I mean, I had to go over here to set things up and then go over there to tear things down and... I play music. I've got this gig going on and uh, I'm the one who plays the guitar. I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. <laughs> What stopped you? My mom. She, um, she only allowed me to play the piano growing up. <laughs> Why? Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I think she just wants me to be more like my dad. Oh. I see. So what about you? What's your story? What do you do and why are you sitting here in this bar all sad and alone? I'm a writer. I've worked for this one asshole company. They've been refusing to publish my book for, for a year. I've worked for them for four years. Oof. That's rough. Tell me about it. It's got me thinking whether I should even continue writing. Well, I know what that means. Uh, waiter, two whiskeys, neat. I prefer on the rocks. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch your name. Tawny. You? Ezra. Why did my dad name me that? What does it even mean? Ezra. <laughs> you know? As hard as it was growing up with my mom. I can't blame her. She was always by my side. Because the last time I saw my dad, I was five, four, five, yeah, four. Have you not missed your mother? Mom, it's 9 in the morning. What do you mean 9 a.m.? It's 3 p.m. 
Did you just wake up? What have you been doing? Mom, 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 please. Can you please stop bombarding me with these questions? I'm, I'm just trying to get my head together. You were supposed to come bring me groceries today. But where are you? I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go get it. I didn't think I'll see you again. What made you think that? Well, kind of left without saying anything. Um, did something happen? You got a party tonight or something? Uh, no, I'm heading to my mom's place. Bring the groceries. Cute. Hey, do you want to come with? We could spend some time together. Are you sure? I'm sure my mom wouldn't mind a plus one. What the hell? Sure. All right. Hey, mom. Mm. You were supposed to come in the afternoon. I know, I'm sorry. I, I got so caught up with work. Um, I'm just starting to lose track of time. Uh, Have you taken your medicine? Yeah, I, I took it this morning. Good. Always remember to take it. You won't last a day without it. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty well. I made you dinner. Thank you. Um, hey, Mom. Hmm? There's someone I'd like you to meet. Someone? Mm. Tony. I met her recently. Hi. Sit. Sit. Smells delicious. Mm. Please. Okay. We thank you a lot for the food that I have brought to this year. What are you doing? Giving us some meat. The food is for you. There's plenty of food to go around. Ezra, stop it! Tony! You're unbelievable. mother would be such a shit show, Ezra! She, she's not usually like this. I don't know what, what... I don't even know what to say to you! Wait, Tony! No! I, I, I'm just, I'm just getting dressed now. I, I, I'm sorry. What news? Right, sure. Yeah, I'll see you soon. You're publishing my book? Yeah. Well, in uh, one condition, uh, it'll be under someone else's name. <laughs> someone else's name? Yeah. Uh, you'll be their ghostwriter. Look, it pays well. And uh, if you think about it, you've been at this company for what? Uh, four years. Yeah, four years. Yeah. And uh, you never really had the chance. So I'm giving you this opportunity that you can either take it or leave it. 
Ugh. Ezra. This ghostwriting job pays more than your monthly allowance combined. You'll be able to make more money once the book is published and sold. But it's not in my name. Ezra, Ezra. Your name brings nothing, all right? You're just a new writer. But look, if you take this opportunity, you get to work for Mark Rodney. Mark Rodney? Yes, Mark Rodney, the renowned writer. You'll definitely make more money than publishing it under your name. What do you think? Come on. Come on, think about it. What are you doing here? Ezra. You've disappeared. How do you even find out where I worked? What happened? What happened? You wanna know what happened? So my fucking boss calls me today, saying you've published my book, finally, right? But as a ghostwriter. To Mark fucking Rodney. Four years! Four fucking years and I can't even make a name for myself! And you! You just left me. I didn't know if I could find you, or if I was ever gonna see you again. You know, you, you even know how that feels, huh? Why? Why do you keep doing this to me, huh? When are you gonna just stop playing me? What? Playing you? You're fucking kidding me, right? The reason why I stepped out of your house is because the moment I entered, your Perfect little mother did nothing but insult me. Oh, don't talk about my mother. You're such a mommy's boy, you know that? When are you gonna realize that everything that she's hand feeding you is bullshit? Hmm? Can't you see it? Everything is a lie, you naive little prick. She's only doing this because she doesn't want you to go anywhere. So that you'll have nobody to go back to but her. Aren't you tired of it? Aren't you tired of being emotionally abused by your own mother? Who only had you in the first place because she wanted to fix her relationship with your father, who is where? Probably fucking somebody else's wife. So she copes with that by treating you like her own husband. How dare you? You don't know me. You don't know my mother. She loves me. She cares for me. And she'll never abuse me. Ezra. Ezra, she made you think like that. She made you think like there was nobody else in this world but her. Because she knows. She knows that with you, there's a chance that your dad might come back. So just wake the fuck up, Ezra. Denying it. I know you see it, Ezra. I know deep down you have thought about this for a long, long time. But you're just too pussy to admit it. I know you better than you. You can keep denying it all you want, Ezra. But I want you to think about the moment when you finally choose to free yourself from this agony.